Welcome to the English News of Bình Phước Television and with you, now following are the headlines for today. Training courses are open, resources created for leaders. Bình Phước farmers successful in raising bamboo rest. Vietnam allows promote technological cooperation, technology transfer. CBI increases slightly in May. An opening ceremony was held on May 29 at Viettel Academy in Hanoi for a training course creating resources for leaders and managers in Minh Phu province. This is the first training course held by the Viettel Military Industry and Telecom Group to train cadres from Minh Phu. In implementing the plan from the Provincial Standing Party Committee on the selection of cadres for training, the organizing committee of the Provincial Party Committee advised on the examinations for selection. 25 cadres were selected to study five modules, of which the first module is Skills and Methods of Studying to last two weeks at Vietnam Academy. The remaining four modules will be conducted in the province. Speaking at the opening ceremony, member of the Party Centre Committee and Secretary of the Bing Phu Provincial Party Committee Nguyễn Mạnh Cường emphasized the efforts of local cadres in the training course. The goal will be to have a leadership group with professional qualities, knowledge and skills to work for the province's development. Delegates from the People's Council of Bình Phước Province and Nong Sai City, including Trung Tội Hiền, Chairwoman of the Provincial People's Committee, and Hà Anh Dũng, Secretary of the Nong Sai City Party Committee, met with voters on May 29 in Tân Đồng, Tân Thiện, Tân Xuân, and Tiến Hưng Khám Mills. The meeting took place before the 11th session of the 10th Provincial People's Council and before the 8th session of the 5th Municipal People's Council for the 2021 2026 term. Voters made many recommendations at the meeting relating to the deterioration of some roads, a lack of traffic signs at intersections, and unclear road markings. They also called for the strengthening of traffic control and the introduction of solutions to remove difficulties in identifying landowners when carrying out procedures for granting and changing land use right certificates. Chairman Hien expressed her appreciation of the opinions and recommendations from the voters, as well as their sense of responsibility. She reported to the voters on the general situation in the province since the beginning of the year and the key tasks for the remaining months. Bamboo rat is by no means a new type of animal for farmers in Bình Phước province, but not many breeders were successful with choosing to work with the animal. The success of one breeder in Buyamap district, however, proves that raising bamboo rats is not too difficult if breeders can meet technical requirements in rearing and provide the right living conditions for what is considered by many to be a delicacy. After studying how they were raised elsewhere, Mr. Huang Van He from Keza village in Phu Van Kamil made a bold investment in a farm to raise 200 bamboo rats. The decisive factor in the growth and development of the white animal, he explained, is controlling the temperature. A mother bamboo rat can give birth twice a year with three pups each time. With 100 bamboo rats and an average selling price of 700,000 dong each, Mr. Herb and his family earn over 400 million dong a year after deducting costs. The Fu Van Kamu Fathers Association is now organizing trips for local farmers to visit and learn how to done. It is also moving to establish a bamboo rat cooperative with 7 to 10 households. Deputy Prime Minister Trần Hồng Hà received visiting La Minister of Technology and Communications Bong Vinh Kham Vong Dara in Hanoi on May 29. Emphasizing the important role of the Lao Ministry of Technology and Communications in the country's development, the Deputy Prime Minister lauded the agreements it has signed with the Vietnam Academy of Science and Technology. 
He said he hopes the two sides can actively promote cooperation and technology transfer to jointly undertake digital and green transformation as soon as possible. Minister Vongdara said his visit is aimed at promoting the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding on Cooperation with the Vietnam Academy of Science and Technology on Forecasting and Warning of Natural Disasters, Tsunamis, among others. The General Statistic Office on May 29 announced that the May Consumer Price Index CBI increased by 0.01% month-on-month, mostly due to increases in prices of food, electricity and water. The May CPI increased by 0.4% compared to December 2022, and 2.43% from the same period last year. The average CPI of the first five months of this year rose by 3.55% over the same period last year. In general, the year-on-year -year rise in CPI from the beginning of this year tends to slow down gradually, the statistics office noted. Factors that pushed the CPI up in the first five months of this year include the increased prices of education, housing and construction materials culture and entertainment, and tourism. Meanwhile, factors that pull the CPI down during the period included the falling prices of fuels and postal and telecommunications products. According to the General Statistics Office, core inflation in May increased by 0.27% over the previous month and by 4.54% over the same period last year. Vietnam invested nearly 316.4 million US dollars abroad in the first five months of this year, equivalent to 93.5% of the figure recorded in the same period last year, according to the Foreign Investment Agency under the Ministry of Planning and Investment. Of the total, some 143 million US dollars was poured into 47 new projects, while the remaining was added to 16 underway ones. Vietnamese investors abroad invested in various sectors, especially retail and wholesale, information and communications, finance, banking, agroforestry fisheries. In the January-May period, Vietnamese investments landed in 20 countries and territories, led by Canada with one new and one expanded project worth over 150 million US dollars. It was followed by Singapore, Laos and Cuba. The agency said that as of the 20th of May, Vietnam had operated 1,648 valid projects abroad, with combined investment of over 22 billion US dollars. Leading destinations for Vietnamese investors are Laos, Cambodia and Venezuela. Rice fields in Tam Cốc area of northern province of Ninh Bình are among the most beautiful ones in Vietnam. A giant planting created on the rice fields with the name Lê Ngư Vọng Nguyệt or Carbs Look at the Moon is a new attraction over the recent days. The 9,500 square meter painting using rice as material on rice fields of Tam Cốc stretches along the meandering Ngô Đồng River. It symbolizes abundance and the bountiful water element. The rice painting is a highlight of the 2023 Ningbing Tourism Week, which started on May 27. The picture is not only bold in folk and culture colors of the Vietnamese people, but also honored the values of agriculture activities through the image of rice and expresses the dream of a peaceful year, bountiful crops. The most impressive and enticing time to visit Tam Cốc is around late May and early June. During this period, the vibrant yellow of the rice fields is then shimmering along the Ngô Đồng River, flowing under majestic limestone mountain ranges. Vietnamese French filmmaker Trần Anh Hùng won the Best Director Pride at the 76th Khan International Film Festival for the film La Passion de Dodin Bofen or The Pearl of Few on May 27. The Porte of Fur was adapted from novel La Vie et la Passion de Dovdin Bouvang Goumet, the passionate epicure by French author Marcel Gouff. Set in 1885, the film depicts a romance between a chef named Eugenie and a gourmet named Dovdin, who have worked together for 20 years. 
Born in 1962 in the center city of Da Nang, Chen Anghong has affirmed his reputation in European and international cinema. He has established himself as the Vietnamese Bond film director to win the most international awards so far. Meanwhile, the prize for best first film went to Inside the Yellow Cocoon Shell by Vietnamese writer and director Phan Thien An. The film was among a list of 19 movies premiering in the director's fortnight section in the 2023 Cannes Film Festival. There were 10 minutes of BVTV news. To watch this news again, you can download our mobile app BVTV Go or visit our website and YouTube channel. Thanks for staying with us and see you next time.